This is Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update for April 14th. Yesterday saw corn gain back the previous day's losses as funds were the estimated buyers of 15,000 contracts. The Brazilian weather forecast looks a little bit drier, while the extended U.S. forecast calls for uh, cool temperatures, which isn't alarming when it's this early in the season, but it may slow down that early planting pace. The combination of uh, drought in Brazil and a slower planting pace here in the U.S. was enough to spur corn futures to a higher level yesterday. Soybeans reap the benefits of a rally in the soybean oil market. Soybean oil was up nearly 160 points at the close, which is the equivalent of 18 cents per bushel. Vegetable oils in general were stronger as talk of freeze damage to the French rapeseed crop had nervous traders buying vegetable oils, including palm oil, which was up 74 points yesterday. Yesterday also saw China's soybean market rocket higher. This is up the equivalent of 98 cents per bushel at the close. Wheat values were pulled higher by the corn rally, but wheat's rally was dampened by steady crop conditions here in the U.S. and soft world values. Russian wheat fob values were steadied lower once again yesterday, with the U.S. hard red winter wheat currently trading at $22 per metric ton more than Russian wheat of similar protein, which means that we here in the U.S. are probably going to struggle to capture much export business. Cotton futures turned in a pretty good session with the May futures finishing 168 points higher as they settle at 81.82. And livestock futures were mainly lower. At the close, June live cattle futures were $1.17.5 lower, while May feeder cattle were down $2.37.5 at the closing bell. Lean hog futures were slightly higher, with the June futures finishing the day 2.5 cents higher. Class 3 milk futures seemed to take a deep breath and step back from their recent run higher yesterday. At the close, we had May futures uh, down 50 points, settling at 1946. And meat cutout values finished the day mixed. Choice box beef was $1.30 lower, closing at 270.11. Select boxes were 38 cents higher as they settled at 266.54. Pork carcass cutout values had a pretty positive session. They finished the day $2.39 higher as they settled at $112.49 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.